I got this Chinese quad runner. I believe it's a 150. It's a 2012 model. It's not starting. It's not even turning over. Here, I'll show you what it's doing. Okay, I got the brake on. Turn the key on. So we got a green light here. Kill switch. Make sure the kill switch is set. It will not do anything. So we're going to do some diagnostics. First thing I'm going to do is come down here, check the fuse, make sure the fuse is good. And the fuse is good. Now I'm going to take the seat off. I'm going to go down here and check the cylinder switch. Make sure that it's okay. I can actually take a screwdriver and put it between these two nuts right here and I can get it to turn over. But come over to the side, reach up under here and try and find this thing right here. It's got a little latch on it, so just push it in, pull it apart, and that will be the connection to your solenoid switch. Come back up here, pull it out. Now we're going to test this to see if this works. If we can put a hot and a ground to that, it should kick the starter over. Okay, I got my hot and my ground hooked up. What I'm gonna do, don't touch these together. I'm gonna take my ground, I'm gonna stick it in here on the outside of the wire because even when I get them down in here, I do not wanna touch these together. Now, if I'm gonna take the hot and I'm gonna touch it to the other wire, the starter should kick over if the solenoid switch is good. Battery's a little weak, but the solenoid switch is working. I'm gonna go ahead and charge the battery. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to diagnose the brake switch. It's right here. If this isn't working, then you won't get no power at all. So as you can see, when I press the brake down, it's not pulling that switch down. Okay, you'll see a little pin behind this spring. Let me move that spring out of the way. You can see it right there. If that's not being pulled down by the spring behind it, then this isn't working. Okay, if I turn the key on and I come down here and pull on this spring to pull this, this uh, mechanism out or this rod out from that switch, the bike turns over. So this switch is the problem. I'm going to have to either fix it, adjust it, or replace it. Okay, we have one more switch to diagnose. Pull this back, lock it down, and you'll see a little button back in there. Let's see if I can get you a close-up. It's not popping out. First thing you're going to do is take this wire right here. And you're going to follow it down to this side over here. Okay, and then you'll pull on it. And you'll see it's these two right here. So what you want to do is pull these apart. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can use a meter. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these two wires right here. I'm gonna put these ends on here. And there's nothing, there's nothing, no reading. Now the second way I'm gonna test it is to just put a jumper on these two wires. I'm gonna take this one here. I'm gonna hold it inside there. Turn the key on. Tell me that switch is bad up on the front handbrake. I'm gonna to have to either fix it, adjust it, or replace it. So I'll go ahead and put these back together. Make sure you get the right colors matched up. Okay, now as you can see the switch, it should be popping out just like that right there. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.